Hey everybody, this is Peanut with Underground Video Network and we'd like to tell you this is the Halloween season and everybody's dressing up and doing crazy things and parties and stuff like that. Even the comic book stores are just doing their things with the giveaways and free comics and stuff. But one in particular is at a Hill Hilliard, Ohio for that. Uh, Pack Rat Comics, you probably know these guys from our last uh, thing we did with them and their anniversary parties and stuff. Anyways, what I'm getting to is they're going beyond comics and most comic book stores don't do this. Uh, they did a, like a generous drive to donate canned goods for comics. Yeah, you can do, people do stuff like that. They're very giving. Uh, Mid-Ohio Food Bank, that's where all the uh, donations are going to and stuff. And uh, we're going to talk to Teresa and possibly Jamie, the owners of Pack Rat Comics and uh, of how this is working out and how to get comics this way. And also through the website, go to see to come back uh, next year or, or to find out what else they're doing that's above and beyond just selling comics. So we're going to take a trip inside. We're here again at Pack Rat Comics, and uh, okay, tell us how you set it up. This uh, set it up. How'd you set up this uh, food bank, and how did this work? Um, well, we'll take a tour. Wait, did you take a tour? Yeah, yeah, you too. You come with me. Okay. All right. Oh. How does this work? Well, it, it's really simple. Diamond Comics offers um, free Halloween com or comics we can purchase uh, and give away as uh, goodie bags for kids <laughs> instead of candy. Hopefully, something popped up there. So <laughs> last year, what we did was we bought the comics and we offered students at Darby Creek Elementary an opportunity to exchange canned good items for our comic book. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pretty simple program. We had a great response last year, raised over 500 pounds of canned goods, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, basically what they do is they come in, because uh, we're not allowed to sell these, kids can come in and get one of these free. No strings attached, no canned good item required. Um, any kid that comes in or adult that comes in today are welcome to get any of these books. Um, if they come in and they're not aware of the program, we also take, um, we have it set up over here where when you bring in additional canned goods, you can buy, for every canned good item that you bring in, you can buy any of these comics on the wall. Since we do a lot of focus with um, early childhood development and a lot of reading programs, we actually offer a lot of um, the early reader books, a lot of stuff focused towards children to get them that's excited true. about that's reading. Um, so that's why we, do, we actually focus a lot with the elementary schools when we try and do these programs. Um, if they come in today and they didn't know that we were doing the food drive or they forgot, um, they can come in and they can buy any of these comics for 50 cents. Um, we take that 50 cents and we go to the grocery store and we'll buy a can of corn or, or, or what shocking. have you. Yeah, I no um, <laughs> so it's, it's pretty pretty simple really. It's our just our Comics for Canned Good program. Um, that, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much the it. There's, there's no, <laughs> it's not very detailed. I mean, uh, the, the title how, speaks how for itself. Now you've done this twice now? This is our second year. Second yes. Year, okay. This is our second year. We were very excited last year. It was very successful. Um, unfortunately, as our plaza has been rented out, we don't have the free space to use in our plaza and have extended programs where we've had artists and writers and such in before. But we do, um, we do this now um, during Free Comic Book Day. We always try and do a charity auction or uh, bring in additional funds. This year we raised $1,500 for um, the uh, Di Diana uh, Sharp who was killed in the school bus accident. Um, and then the year before that we, we raised almost $1,500 for Make-A-Wish. So we try and anytime we have a promotion we always try and um, tie it in with ways that we can benefit the, uh, the community as well because we think that's very important as, as business. Like I said, above and beyond what a comic book store shop can do. <laughs> So uh, come Pack Rat Comics and uh, keep up. They got a website as well to keep updated on anything that's going on. And uh, thanks for being an underground video. Network. They can still bring canned goods in. They, they, can, still, they okay. can still bring in canned goods. Um, we'll collect through Thank the end of the week, actually. So um, feel free to bring them in all the way to the end of the week. Um, and then next weekend we are doing our Midnight Madness sale, which is a great opportunity for people to come in and hang out and have fun if they want. Um, but if you ever want to know what's going on on our comic book store, what, what we're doing in, in, in house, feel free to go to our website, join our mailing list, because we try and keep people up to date on what's going on and send out that kind of information. That's why we're here. All right, Underground Video Network.
So Spider-Man, uh, this, this is going to be a retarded question, but uh, what was your favorite uh, comic book movie this year so far? Batman. <laughs> wow. Uh, I think Marvel's going <laughs> to... <laughs> I don't know what Marvel's going to do to your, your book sales come after seeing this. I, okay, I stopped. Oh, you are welcome with all the comics. <laughs> I got that too. <laughs> you wouldn't let me help. Anything on that one with the air? I don't know. I think you might be a scroll. All right, here I'm Peanut, the Underground Video Network, and we haven't done any uh, like favorite comics, comic reviews lately and stuff. And I'm here, with one of the people to hang out at Pack Rat Comics, and his name's Mike. And what are you reading? What am I reading these days? Mm. I've been sucked into the Batman R.I.P. That makes no sense. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's fun, and I want to see how it ends, so I keep buying it. But um, yeah. now nah, usually I, I stick to Ex Machina, and okay. Nightwing. Ex Machina is like the greatest book ever. If you've ever read it, it's all painted, it's had the same team on it for three years. It's one of the best ideas out there right now. Yeah. Um, that's, that's definitely my number one pick for comic book. Now, who's, that, who's that through? Uh, X Machina? Is it Vertigo? Or, is it Vertigo? Or, or, I don't know. It'll I be think popping so. up right here. <laughs> uh, you'll find it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's Vertigo, but that's, it's a good book. Right. The artwork is phenomenal. All right, well, there's a quick review there, and then you guys can pick it up at your local comic book shop or Pack Rat Comics. Go buy Pack Rat and get a free button. Get a free button. <laughs> <laughs>